Hi everyone, uh, this is Philip Travis, and uh, welcome to U.S. History, American History, Part 1. Uh, in this class, we will be examining the period from the arrival of Europeans, um, the beginning of the 1500s, um, through the Civil War period and the Reconstruction Era. Uh, we'll be looking at some really fascinating subjects, from the initial arrival of Europeans in the Americas, following the um, arrival of Columbus in 1492, um, through, of course, the colonial uh, experience in North America, to uh, the Revolutionary War, the founding of the country, the creation of the Constitution, uh, the War of 1812, the development of political parties in the United States, um, the age of Andrew Jackson, uh, the Mexican-American War, the legacy of expansionism in the United States, um, and of course we'll culminate in this class with a discussion of the American Civil War uh, and the Reconstruction period. Um, this class, I think you will find, um, is fascinating not only for subject matter, but also for the degree to which this, this kind of story uh, directly shapes our world today. So, whether it's discussions about the initial arguments over the meanings of the Constitution, which, of course, you know, the founders of this country did not always agree on uh, what the Constitution meant. And sometimes um, you might, if you're listening to certain um, <clears throat> personalities uh, here in the 21st century, you might get the understanding that one day in the past, everybody agreed on the Constitution. And uh, that's not true. Um, actually, the Constitution was an incredibly divisive, controversial development. Some people fought against its ratification. And even after its ratification, uh, individuals uh, within the U.S. government uh, fought vehemently over what powers the Constitution did or did not authorize. So we'll be talking about, you know, the founding of this country, and that's highly significant to discussions today. We'll be talking about <clears throat> the expansion, uh, really beginning in, colonial, in the colonial period, and not only its consequences for people, indigenous people, like uh, the Native Americans, of course, but also the role that expansionism played um, in the development of the United States as, a, as, a, as a, first a continental and eventually a world power. Um, expansionism was, in some ways, um, something that, that sowed the seeds for the disputes that were at the heart of the American Civil War as, as factions in the North began to push for new territories to be free and factions in the South began to push for new territories to be, um, to be slave territories. And so the issue of slave or free and states' rights was also intertwined in the political dispute associated with the expansion of the United States. Um, so there are many, many discussions and topics uh, that we're going to engage in this class that remain uh, very, very relevant uh, to our country today um, and to the world today. And um, you know, I'm hoping that in this class, um, it kind of helps us to think more critically um, about the United States today. Um, its role as a, as a world power, the functioning of its government, um, and, and so forth. Um, my hope is that this class will help us to not only become more knowledgeable about the past in the United States, but also to become more critically critical thinking citizens um, about, um, uh, about the, the nature and the development and uh, you know, some of the really important debates and problems that this country's encountered and how it's overcome those um, over time. And I think if we do that, we'll all leave this class, um, you know, with really, um, you know, being more knowledgeable, really, really better citizens, I guess is what I'm saying is, is my hope. Um, so anyway, enough of that. This is your, your welcome announcement here. Please watch all of these announcements. Um, each week I make an announcement and I fill you in on what's going on during the week. I give you tips and pointers uh, about tests, about papers, about all kinds of things that we're doing in the week. So it's really important. Please watch these announcements. Um, during the class, I'm going to offer extra credit 
through these announcements. And I'll start offering that next week. Uh, so just watch next week's announcement. Um, watch it at the beginning of the week before Wednesday. And I'll fill you in on this extra credit opportunity that I think you'll find is interesting and also kind of fun. And it gives you bonus points throughout the term, uh, which we all love because it'll help you at the end of the term make sure you have the grade you want to have. Uh, so be, make sure you watch these announcements. And particularly next week, watch the opening announcement so that, uh, so that you see what we're doing, um, not only in the week, week two, but also for this extra credit. Um, the class, uh, remember, you see the syllabus, so I'm not going to go through everything on the syllabus here. But uh, the class is broken up into three parts. At the end of each section, at the end of each section, you have an exam. There's three exams. Each test deals with the section that we just covered. Um, I give you a study guide for each test, and, um, and, and so make sure you use that study guide to prepare for the test. Um, there will be a test at the end again of each section. So there's three parts. Uh, we, have, we have at the end of our first part, which is week five, we'll have our first test. Um, in the class, you write one paper. And I'll have more information forthcoming for you on the papers. I basically want you to use three academic sources and write a 650 to 700 word uh, paper that like, makes a historical argument. But as we move forward in the class, I will give you more information on how I want you to go about this. and uh, I'll give you some tips and pointers, um, sometimes in the discussion forum, sometimes in emails. Sometimes I'll make a specific video about paper writing. To help you out, so um, uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, remember, uh, make sure you look at the syllabus. The link should all be pretty clear um, on the web page. If you're going, if you're at the home page in our class, you just follow the link to the modules area or the syllabus. Remember, just follow the modules week by week. Um, if you just go with the modules week by week, every Sunday during the week, I open the new week's modules. So if you just follow along in the modules, make sure you log into the class early. Make sure you're getting into the class, you know, on Monday or Tuesday. Check it out. Watch the announcements. And then get prepared to have the assignments maybe finished on a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, you'll be fine. Um, in the discussion forums, make sure you follow the directions. I want to see you active in the discussion forum on two separate days. Uh, I want to have a discussion here. Remember to be always respectful. Uh, but generally, modules is the place to start. You can find really everything in modules. Every assignment will come up in modules. Um, it's a pretty simple way to just follow the course through. Um, each week, not only do I post um, announcements like this, which, again, you will see there's an extra credit opportunity that is so easy it's ridiculous uh, that's associated with this, uh, these, these announcements. But in addition to that, I also post uh, recorded lectures for you. Each week, there will be a lecture on an aspect of the topic that we're discussing. And I do that because I think it helps you learn. You know, I don't want to just give you the textbook and just, here, read these and take the test. I like to lecture. I like to teach. Uh, that's what I do. That's what I'm trained to do. And so um, I want, I, I hopefully, I want everybody to watch each week's recorded lecture. And it'll be a really nice way to give you a, you know, kind of, a look at the key information in the reading. It'll enhance the reading. You know, I touch on a lot of the really important items that show up on tests and so forth in those, um, in those recorded lectures. So make sure you watch those recorded lectures. Sometimes I get a little carried away. They get a little long. But, you know, you can put it on and turn the volume up. And while you're doing the laundry or whatever you might be doing, the dishes, as long as you're listening, you know, it's... It's better than nothing, but hopefully everybody will be able to sit down, watch the lecture, just like you're in a live classroom, and it'll really help you learn the material, I think. Anyway, take a look at the syllabus, take that syllabus quiz, and, uh, and get involved in the discussion forum, introduce yourself, and make your first posts and replies to classmates in the discussion forum. Let's have a great term. Email me. I check my email all the time, so email me. Uh, if you have any questions. But otherwise, I'm Professor Philip Travis, um, and uh, I look forward to having a great term with you guys.